this is just like Christmas. I don't know if you can really see. <laughs> Plates speak for themselves. What do you think? Lovely. Are they? We have just built the four chairs. <laughs> Someone's ready for a bike ride. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Hello. Happy weekend vlog. We're back with another weekend vlog. I am... Do you know what? I'm in such a good mood today. The weather is gorgeous. It's so lovely. I hope you're all doing well and have had some lovely weather wherever you are in the world because England's getting some sunshine now. And it can stick around, which is always lovely. Um, today is... I don't know why I just looked at the clock to tell the day. It's today is 9.30. <laughs> Today is Saturday the 27th of February and do you know how I know that? Because each day is perfectly fitting and there's 28 days in February so tomorrow's the 28th Ooh, and then we're done. Very interesting. It is. Um, yes, half past nine in the morning. We woke up quite early for a weekend all things considering. We've had some coffee, read our mm. books, had a, um, I need to have had a question, had a hot mm. chocolate hot cross bun from, from the co-op. They were really delicious. They're not like traditional hot cross buns but they're really tasty. Just made myself a protein shake. <laughs> And we're gonna to go to B&M this morning. We need some bits and bobs for the house. We haven't really done like a household, I guess a household like shop. A yeah, we just need some like random bits and bobs for the house. We need some um, cleaning bits and bobs. Um, I wanna see if I can get like a ring light because I'm filming more food videos now for my Instagram. If you aren't following me, I'll leave my handle on the screen. Also for TikTok as well. But yeah, they sell them in B&M for 10 pounds, which is brilliant. So much cheaper than online. So we're gonna to head to B&M. We've got a really local one, so it's not not too far of a drive at all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that. And then we've got quite- We're gonna buy an Easter wreath. Are we? I'm buying an <laughs> Easter wreath. You can look at it if you like. You can look at it if you like. Also, we have had a very exciting delivery for the living room, which I am not looking forward to putting together, but I'm very much looking forward to enjoying once it's done. Um, we, might be, we might even fit a cheeky walk in later on if the weather's still nice. I was thinking actually of suggesting that to you. Do you want to go for a walk whilst we're out? Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, that's the, that's the jam for today. I hope you're all doing grand. We're going to quickly brush our teeth, pop a coat on and head to b &M. Having the time of my life in b &M. We came really early just because obviously there's no one in store. So I've got a basket full already. Expect a haul coming very soon because this is just like Christmas. We haven't been in like two months. So it's just really nice to have a little look in. So we were all done in B&M, that was so good, it was so tempting as well, we didn't spend a lot at all and we got some really good household essentials and also some bits and bobs that we have saw other people get so it's great. Definitely one trick with B&M if you are in the UK, go early, go as early as you possibly can do to try and beat obviously the queues because it got busy in there and we went at like half nine so yeah. And assess your basket at the end. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. Biggest. Because there's definitely a couple of cheeky things in there that you don't need. <laughs> and we're just going to go and park up and have a little walk and then head back to the flat. I'm going to go as far as saying this is the most beautiful weather we've had so far this year. And I really feel like with the news that England's had about the potential lockdown lifting restrictions with the vaccinations, with all of the positive news that we seem to be getting at the moment, plus some gorgeous weather, it's really making for an instant mood lift that I think we all really needed. This is the happiest I have felt all year. Yeah, same. Same, and all we've gone to do is B&M and we're gonna go get a coffee and walk through Greenwich Park. No, I meant the weather. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what you meant just in general. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's lovely. We've got ourselves a little, well, a huge coffee. That's for a flat white, it's massive. Um, we've just seen the cutest golden retriever puppy ever. I think it's one of those things in life we spoke about where the more you speak about something, the more you see it. But obviously you don't see it any more than you naturally would. You just feel like you're looking out for it, don't you? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's, yeah, just, it's just over there. I'm obviously not going to film it, but it's lovely. So we're back from B&M and Greenwich. I just filmed the little B&M haul that will be coming live after this video goes live, actually. So, back, had some lunch. It's such a gorgeous day still. The sun is beaming through, like, oh, the light. 
Um, anyway, I did say in the car we were gonna be building some furniture. Let me close that window actually. Sorry, we've opened it to try and get some air. So we're gonna be giving our dining area a bit of a revamp for this year. So we've lived in this flat since 2019, July actually we moved in and we just chose a dining table and benches that just worked and it was great, it was really cheap and we've loved it since but a very lovely brand got in touch called Cult Furniture and I love their pieces. They've got everything on there from sofas to dining tables to chairs to benches office chairs and everything in between home furnishings so they got in touch and said um would you like to give a place in your flat a little bit of a refresh and we've been thinking about changing up the dining table and we chose some dining chairs from them and they're gorgeous they've arrived really quickly actually so we've got them in a box here so we've got to assemble them and we have a dining table coming very soon we're actually going to be selling our old dining table on um, Facebook Marketplace. So someone else is gonna have that. It's gonna go to a great home, so nothing's getting thrown away, which is really great. And hopefully these will be coming with us to our new home when we move, which is very exciting. So yeah, we're gonna be assembling these. I'll leave a link down below. They seem relatively simple to assemble. There's four chairs in total, so it might take us a little bit of time, but that'll be all right. Nothing better to do. The sun is shining. We'll put on a lovely playlist and get cracking. <laughs> So we've unboxed the first base. The base of the chairs is like this beautiful polished matte black. Um, I mean, it's yeah, it's, I would say it's like a metal chrome. It's lovely, really sturdy. And they've also got some nice little fixtures on the bottom so it won't ruin the carpet, which is really good. Comes with the instructions, really simple, four steps. So we shouldn't get it too wrong in theory, fingers crossed. <laughs> and we've put out the piles of what we need and then the rest are in little ramekins. So we are feeling organized. So we're gonna attempt to build number one and then we just need to repeat it three more times to have four dining chairs. Alright, Sarah's so going in for I nearly just had the taste test. <laughs> this the seat test. Oh What do you think? Lovely. Are they? Yeah, really nice. Nice to have the back support. They're really comfy. Good. It's like kind of matching with like the black accents that we've got around the room with like the legs. Um, yeah, what do you think? Really nice. Do you want to have a sit? Yes, please. Can I try? Oh my goodness. That, nice, aren't they? Like, that really supports your back, doesn't it? Yeah, you feel like you're getting hugged from oh. behind. Bear in mind, obviously, we're not going to have the grey dining table as well. It's completely changing. They're very comfortable. Aren't they? Wow. Big fan. Right, one Woo. Down, three to go. We have just built the four chairs from Colt Furniture. I will leave these linked down below. They come in a variety of colors. They come in like a darker charcoal gray. They also come in a blue, I think, and an olive green. We went for gray because, obviously with the room having quite a lot of character as it is and having carpet, this kind of like tealy colored armchair, the brown sofa, it was just a lot to go on with. So we have ordered a new dining table. Let's say we're gonna be selling this one. So yeah, we're not sure if we're gonna be keeping these chairs either. We might sell those too. But for now, these are lovely and they're so comfortable. The design is really cool. It's a little bit retro, but we just love the black. And obviously the table will be gone, so it won't be too much gray. It feels like 50 shades of gray at the moment, but we love it. We're now playing a spot of Monopoly, basically last night we played monopoly and we paused it so now we've reinstated it from where we were so we've got well, this is the primark version of monopoly but we've had to put the candle in the middle because it we've got on the race platform anyway um so we've got our cards and all our bits and we've just got some tortilla chips and a dip to dig in so we're having a brief interlude i am having my arse handed to me by zara by monopoly <laughs> so i feel like i need some fuel so we're going to make an espresso martini i feel like this is just every single weekend vlog it's pretty much the same we make an espresso martini we love them we picked up some of this um, Tia Maria cold brew in Sainsbury's, it was £12. It was on special, it's really good. It's vanilla and coffee, coffee liqueur. It's really good. Um, traditionally, we'd use Kahlua, but we were, oh, actually we have probably had enough for about one more in there, but then we'd be out, so it was great. So we're gonna make a cocktail and then continue with Monopoly, which I'm probably gonna lose momentarily. So Zara won at Monopoly, so I have drew the short straw and I'm now in charge of dinner this evening. And then we're having some of these ZZ's Italian Rustica pizzas. We've got the classic margarita flavor. Um, we've got these in Sainsbury's and they are delicious. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pop these in and they've got like a gorgeous like 
basil drizzle to put over the top. So good. So we cook, I think in around 15 minutes, I wanna say. Yeah, 11 to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and then dig in. We've hit a bit of vital information this evening that Harry Potter is only available on Now TV for six more hours and we've got two films left to watch. So Zara's basically just signed herself up for four and a half hours of Harry Potter. So we're on film number seven, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, you've never seen Harry Potter, it's great and there's two films left and you've enjoyed them, be honest. Give your review of Harry Potter in 20 seconds. I'm ready. Okay. Um, I appreciate it because Luke enjoyed it as a child. He watched High School Musical and Hairspray for me because that was my childhood. I did. The difference was that was about four hours, this is about 14. <laughs> um, and I would, on my deathbed, like these hours given back to me. Oh, Zara. It's fine, but I've just said, I do think they could have put it all in one film. They, yeah, they, first of all, this whole thing could have been in one long film. And they're based on books. But I read the bloody books. <sighs> Secondly, I think it's the sort of thing, if you watch it for the first time as an adult, it does seem a bit far-fetched. I mean, they Which are... Which I appreciate Hairspray to you was probably a bit like, what the hell? But they're wizards. You're a wizard, Harry. I know, but I'm not a wizard. I'm a human. I'm a hard-working human. Right, well, we're 20 minutes into the second from last film and Zara's already getting agitated. No, it's fine. I just would probably prefer to be watching Gobblebox. I know. So this is dinner all served up. These are the um, Leon truffle mac and cheese bites with some of their Harissa vegan meal. And then we've got two margarita pizzas from ZZ's and a glass of rosé. And we're, all, we're about half an hour into Harry Potter. Hello everybody, happy Sunday. Do excuse the kind of wild crazy hair, I'm just fresh out of the shower. Today is Sunday, it's the last day of February, which is just crazy. We thought we'd end the day, well end the week, month, <laughs> sorry it's still really early, end the month with a little bit of exercise just to round up February. So we're going to go for a little cycle to Primrose Hill this morning, which is in it's in North London, it's technically classed as North London, we're South London. So we're going to cycle up um, over the Thames and then we are just going to have a little coffee there and cycle back We just thought it'd be really good to get a bit of exercise in so I'm in somewhat of I don't, I don't know if you can really see <laughs> Cycling attire and um, got my cap on water bottle just packed my little rucksack and I've also got my Film camera in here. I've got two shots left on my film camera and then I've got two whole reels of film I think each reel has 36 photos in it. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of film development once lockdown's over, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, we had some pancakes this morning. Had a really chill morning. I was just replying to some of you lovely people who've left a nice comment on my weekly vlog. No, what was it? It was my day in the life February favorites. If you didn't see that, I'll link it up there and also down below. I did a little roundup of things I've been loving in February. You've left some lovely comments, which is always lovely. It makes my morning just sitting and replying to you all. I had a little coffee. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my water and we're gonna cycle into town. <laughs> call on me, call on me. <laughs> Someone's ready for a bike ride. <laughs> You're like an extra from an 80s fitness video. I love it. I need a leotard. Oh, go on girl. <laughs> Primrose Hill, it's really lovely. It's actually quite cold today. The cycle into town was really quite chilly. So my hands are like need warming up. We're gonna try and get some lunch because it's lunch time. And I know it seems like we just had pancakes two minutes ago, but we've worked up an appetite. And Primrose Hill's got some gorgeous little eatery, so we're gonna try and find some there. They've got a really nice crepe place as well. I'll try and show you. There's always a queue. This is the creperie and it's just always so busy. We'll maybe try and find somewhere less popular up here. So we're back from our little cycle in the town, which was very lovely, and I now need to clean my car. This is really embarrassing, but I've actually had my car since August 2019. It's currently nearly March 2021, and I've never hoovered it. I mean, I don't use it every single day because obviously living in London, we use private lockdown tubes and stuff, and we haven't been driving because of lockdown, but it is in desperate need of a hoover, and I've never hoovered it because we live in a second floor flat. My car's in the car park, we don't have any extension leads or power sources to plug 
like vacuum cleaners in. However, a very lovely brand got in touch and said, would you be interested in having a handheld vacuum to use in your daily life and in your flat? Because we've noticed that you've got a really big bulky hoover. And I said, yes, and this arrived, which is so exciting. I feel like I've really got my life together with this. I feel like my neighbors are gonna look at me in the car park like he's really excited about his hoover and I am. So this is the All Technic cordless vacuum cleaner and it's the U10 model. I'll leave it linked down below. It's very kindly gifted. I've been using it for around a month and a half now and I'm so, so impressed. Um, It's really, really versatile. It's got loads of attachments. We use the big brush tool, which I'm gonna do in a bit to give the flat a little once over. It's great in terms of its like actual size to be able to just whip it around the flat. Obviously it's cordless, which means you just charge it. I get around half an hour full constant use before I need to recharge it, which is brilliant. It's easy to change. I love it. So I'm going to give the car a little, little clean. I am so impressed. I've still got over half a battery left. So I'm just going to give the car a little Febreze with vanilla and magnolia just to give it a little, a little spritz. Look, it looks spotless. It looks brand new. You can't tell it hasn't been hoovered in nearly two years. Just give it a little a once over. There we go. I do care about you, car. I promise. I just need to give that a bit of a wipe and then we're done. Um, what time is this? Wow. Bang on five o'clock, which is means we've been out for quite some time. We, our legs are gonna, they're gonna feel the burn. Might have a bath later on. We're gonna do some face masks and stuff. We're gonna make some pasta this evening. You guys know we love our pasta machine and it's became a staple in lockdown. It's something fun to do. So we're gonna make the pasta dough. We're gonna make a lot of ravioli. I'm well, yeah, because. So well, we can make some more and then we can pop them in the fridge and have them for lunch tomorrow. They won't make it to lunch. You plan on eating them all? Yeah. Right. So this is what it's going to look like. And I've filmed this a hundred times over so you guys know exactly what we're going to do. But we do 100 grams of pasta flour to one egg. So we're going to do enough for lunch this evening. Lunch this evening? <laughs> Dinner this evening and then lunch tomorrow. Just whipped up a quick um, roasted butternut squash, sorted spinach, a little bit of nutmeg, chili, and roasted garlic, and I also toasted some pine nuts. Kind of just like mashed it all together. So this is going to be the filling for the ravioli, which I'm very excited about. And then this is a um, tomato sauce that I made with chopped tomatoes, rosemary, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, red wine, and I just blended all that together with a stick blender, and it's like a beautifully smooth sauce. So we're going to have it with that. So the raviolis are filled and they're ready to go. These look amazing. We made all of these this evening and then we've got a whole new batch tomorrow for lunch. And we also had some leftover pasta dough as well that we're gonna have as and when. I've got a big pan of salted water just coming to the bowl here. And then this is just the tomato sauce that we're gonna have with it. the taste test I have do you know what this is kind of just not a recipe we just made it up as we went along the sauce was very much just what we had left over in the fridge um we had a can of tomatoes so I thought we'd just make something with that we had a bit of red wine some rosemary so I want to eat more even though I haven't finished what I'm eating the filling is roasted butter squash chili roasted caramelized garlic spinach pine nut nutmeg and lemon oh pasta shot I feel like our pasta since the first time we made it. Do you remember the first it's time we made it? It was nearly a year ago in lockdown one. I can't imagine us not making it now though. As the Italians say, bellissimo. The plates speak for themselves. I'm gonna go as far as saying that's the best batch of homemade pasta we've ever made. I'll try and somehow kind of like put together a recipe in the description box. What are you giving it out of 10? 10. Are you giving it a 10? Yeah. 10 out of, oh. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna also say a 10 out of 10. I could have maybe seasoned the filling slightly more, like a more like salty filling, but apart from that, amazing. And this wine is delicious. It's from the co-op. It's an Argentinian Malbec and it's bloody delicious. If you're from the UK and you've got a co-op and you get the Malbec because it's really good. It's the fair trade Argentinian one. Delish. Right, I'm gonna end this video here. Zara is absolutely knackered from our bike ride. Right? I think it's just cause it's so, not used to what we're normally doing, so we're gonna go to bed. It's half past nine on a Sunday. What is wrong with us? You do have bigger legs than me. <laughs>
like, no, I do stick like this. Like, one push for you yeah, is like... Uh, bless you. It's, it's a lot of effort for you. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you have enjoyed this little weekend vlog. If you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.